Hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista doing a free find from Burlington Co. Factory. Yeah, guys, I found a lot of stuff at Burlington Co. Factory. Uh, they're getting rid of a lot of Christmas stuff, but at Burlington Co. Factory, I found just general stuff. So let's get started with this haul from Burlington Co. Factory. Okay, guys, the first thing I'm going to show you is the only thing that I think is Christmas related in this haul. It's this wreath. That didn't come from Burlington Co. Factory, but it was the only thing that I picked up at Stein Mart. And it was my first thing I've ever picked up from Stein Mart. It is this green wreath. Really pretty. Uh, that looks like it has little pears and pine cones throughout, okay? Uh, the retail price on this, guys, was $49.99. And it's just a little wreath. The back, something that I'm going to stick out and try to sell. Before I sell it, uh, I've noticed that... A pine cone came off here, or a pear, and a little pine cone came off there. I have several pine cones that I'm just going to hot glue right back on there, and it'll be just as good as new. Really, really pretty uh, wreath in a, uh, almost like an apple green or an olive green. Very pretty, okay? So that's the first thing. Next, you guys have seen these little battery-operated LED lights. It is a lantern. This came from uh, Burlington Co. Factory. And the little light needs a battery, I think. Yeah, it's not coming on. I'm not sure if batteries are in this or not, but I'm going to stick it on the table to see if it will sell for me. Um, oh, and this came from Big Lots. Sorry, I thought that was Burlington, but that was Big Lots for $24.99. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, this is Burlington Co. Factory. I'll start on this side first. These little baskets... I've been trying to find something to store my little K-cups for my Keurig. And I thought these would be really, really cute. Um, Y'all know I think I'm the Keurig queen because I've been using the Keurig that I found. A lot of people have been getting them for the holidays, but I've been finding them like crazy. I think I found six the other day in working condition that I'm going to sell this week weekend, hopefully at my flea market. But aren't these little baskets cute? Uh, there was no price on them, um, but I think I'm going to store my little K-cups in here. That way, I can either put them in the cabinet, leave them out in the cabinet, and it won't be all of the things that I found that house K-cups, they sit out, but if one is missing, I just don't like that look with just the one missing because I got probably have a mild case of OCD. So I think that's going to be cute. Yeah. So I can use that for storage, and I'm hoping that my little K-cups will fit in there. Okay? I'll put that over here. And then, guys, this is an electric beverage warmer. Um, this is from, by Emerson, and it came in at $6.99, and that's from Burlington Co. Factory. Okay? So, um, yeah. I'll see if that works and possibly sell it. Okay? Here's some little baby items. Here is a little sippy cup by Disney. One of them was missing. I'll put that on the table. That was for $7.49. Has little Minnie Mouse on it. Yep. Yeah. And then this, guys, it is a clothes and secure sleeper, okay? And the price on this was $39.99, okay? I just took it out to see if it had any stains in it. It did not. Uh, all of the instructions are in it. Um, so, basically, I don't think it's ever been open. I don't know if it was a return or an open box, but all of the little hardware, all of the little paperwork, you know, is in it. And there are no stains or anything in that, okay? And it just folds up. And then you carry it like that. Yeah, once you, you know, close it all up. Okay, now finishing up on this side, I just decided to show you this. And uh, this is my only soapbox, mom soapbox moment that I'm going to jump on here. Burlington Co. Factory sometimes destroys their merchandise. And the way they do destroy it, they take the hoods off of coats. Um... And they throw away the hoods first, and then they throw away the coats later. So I did find two little hoods. Maybe I'm going to keep these for a while to see if I can possibly find a coat that they go on. Um, if you notice, they took the collar off of this coat. Or this was something that came on, you know, that was attached to a coat. But I think I might keep that, um, you know, just in my, um, you know, to use later. It's like a faux fur and like a brown mocha, like a chocolate color, okay? 
And then this scarf came off of a coat. You can tell it was attached to a coat here. And they took that off. But it still is a nice scarf. I will try to sell that. But the irony of all of that is Burlington Coat Factory was doing a huge coat drive right during the holidays. I remember watching it on Good Morning America. And they were reaching their goal for gently used and new coats that people were donating. And on this side, guys, I'm going to show you that I found a coat in their trash. And it's just pathetic to me that that is, um, you know, can happen when you're doing a coat drive that you could drop the coat in your own donation bin. But you decide to drop it in a dumpster that nobody can use. So, go figure. Yeah. Okay, guys, up next. Right. I really, really, really like these. These are so cute. I have these cute little thermal lunch bags, okay? They have these cute little sayings on it. Sayings on it. One says, man, that's cool. And I'll show you the first one. This is a small version in purple. And I have two purples. Uh, the smaller one's listed for $9.99. And inside, it's just a thermal lunch bag. Okay. It has a little zipper in here. And inside, it has that, you know, silver thermal thing to keep things hot or to keep things cold. And so that's an individual one. All right. And then... Okay. So yeah, that's two of the little purple ones. And then I have four of the small orange ones. One, this one says, I'm, am I hot or what? I'm a thermal lunch bag with an attitude. This was an orange. Okay. Yeah. There are no stains. I found a whole box of these guys. Uh, the first one had a stain on it. I threw that one away, but the rest, the, the entire box of these were fine. They were actually still in the original plastic from the manufacturer, so I have no idea why they got rid of those. So that's three, four, five, six so far. Here's one in pink. It says hot stuff, thermal lunch bag with an attitude, and that's still in the small. And then here are the bigger ones. These are listed for $14.99 and this is almost like a um, for two people or for like a um, picnic maybe okay and what I noticed with this one does it has a little strap inside here that you can attach to the little clip and make it be a shoulder bag so yeah but still has the insulation or the insulated inside. So that could be for like two people or like a little picnic. Yeah, really cute. So I have four of the large orange, which also say, am I hot or not or what? Like the small orange. And then here's a red one. I have two reds in the large. And this one says, Tss. I'm a thermal lunch bag with an attitude. Two red. And then all the way over... I have three of the teal blue and black, and this one says chill out, dude. Okay, and three of those. So, totally, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen lunch totes. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be selling these. I was actually thinking about, like, if you had a uh, beach house party, um, sometime we go down to the shore and have people over. These would be cool giveaways to give to each family member. I think I'm going to, I don't know, though. We shall see. Um, we shall see, because I really like these, and these would be great giveaways for a party, like a beach party or a pool party. Um, or they would be great to sell, because even if I sell these $5 a pop, that's a, you know, a nice little return on something that I picked up for free. Okay. Behind me, I found some jewelry from Burlington Co. Factory also. This is really cute. It is a stackable watch with all of these pretty little um, accessories that came with it. Okay. The watch is in a rose gold. Very pretty. Reminisce of a... Um, it won't come out because it's connected, but kind of reminisce of a uh, Michael Kors in that rose gold with the 
um, rhinestone dial. Very pretty, okay? And it has three little bracelets with it. So you can wear the bracelets and the watch or just the uh, bracelets by themselves or the watch by themselves. Yeah, that was $19.99, okay? Some more jewelry. Check these out, guys. My, my daughter's already been scoping on these. Aren't those cute? Those are a pair of Ralph Lauren little earrings in gold. I really like those. Very pretty. Yeah, these are mine. It has It's nickel-free, and they went on clearance for $7.98 from um, Burlington Co. Factory. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea why they were thrown away, but really, really cute. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of which, and y'all probably wondering why do you have this bedazzled bracelet on? I found this from Michaels, and I thought I would just show you guys. It's a bracelet in um, crystal-like little diamonds and in a little black um, beading. Very pretty. I just stuck it on so I could show you guys. I found that. It was actually outside the dumpster. But isn't that cute? Yep. All right, so we'll put that there. Here's some more jewelry. And this is Charles Klein, a little gold um, jewelry set. And almost like a rope gold with uh, little balls. Okay, there's a necklace, and one of the earrings is missing here. Okay, I was hoping I would find the, you know, earring, but that's the necklace is pretty enough. Right? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Any more jewelry? I think that's it with the jewelry. I found this little uh, exercise band for your cell phone, and it has a place for your keys, and it has a little money place also. So you put your cell phone in, and then it had the matching earphones that, you know, you can listen to your cell phone and um, run, jog, or, you know, exercise with that. I will probably be selling this. Or maybe I need to keep it. Y'all know I started my journey on YouTube with exercising and, and getting into shape and stuff, so I might keep that for myself. And I despise exercising. I know that's horrible to say, but it's true. These little shot glasses, they were in sets of six. Two of them were not broken. This one's in the green, and this one's in the pink. So a pink and green. Very pretty. Okay. Two little shot glasses. Yep. I'm not a drinker, but somebody might be. I'll stick that out to sell. Okay. Look at this soft blanket, guys. It's not in its original package. Uh, there's no tag on it. But look at that, how pretty. It's so soft. It is so soft. And that, it's not a teal blue. It's not a baby blue. It's almost like a seafoam green almost. Very, very soft. I would imagine this to be maybe a king or a queen size. Yeah. I'm going to stick this on the table to try to sell that. I don't really need it, but it's really, it really is beautiful and soft. There are no spots. There's nothing on it. I'm going to stick it out as is. Uh, I might wrap it in maybe some ribbon, you know, uh, so it can look like it's been, you know, packaged. But I'll just sit it out just like this and try to get a few dollars for it, maybe uh, six or seven bucks for this. Okay. Here is a container. Um, now, I think this container may be up here if I'm mistaken. I think I picked this up from Bed Bath & Beyond. But nonetheless, a multi-storage container. Y'all know I always use this. So what's wrong with this? This piece came off. And uh, all I have to do is, the little piece broke here. But it's no big deal because everything else is fine in it. Okay? You could use that for storage for Christmas items. I've actually got some balls I'm thinking about putting in for Christmas with that. Okay, here is another scar. And this came, I don't remember where I picked this up from, but this is actually a L.L. Bean, or L.L. Bean scarf. At least I thought I saw an L.L. Bean tag in it. Oh, well. Maybe that was the blue, other blue scarf I saw. Because I picked up one scarf. Yeah. 
I can't remember, but I remember seeing L.L. Bean in it. It's not that one. Maybe it's still over there because I still have so much more stuff to show y'all. It's, it's crazy. But anyway, a brown, beautiful scarf, okay, that can be used in these cold months by someone instead of just throwing it away. Uh, has both a masculine and a, you know, a lady could wear that with a camel coat. Really pretty. And a deep red camel and chocolate brown. Okay, here's a little belt. I forget the name of these belts we used to call them. I remember wearing something like this when I was like in high school with the whole prep look. It's almost remind me of like now a these navy These little belt. boots in the camouflage for, for a little boy, I'm assuming. Um, there were a whole dumpster of these and I just grabbed what I saw, but I did not realize that they had destroyed them. And on this one, I thought they had cut it. I thought I remember seeing a slice. Um, but the rest of them did have cuts in it. Yeah, it's a small, oh, well, maybe this one does not. Oh, there it is. They split that one. So I'll stick it on the table. Somebody might be able, cause it didn't go all the way through. Somebody might pr pick this up because honestly, I guess if I told you, you could see, but um, yeah, that's in a size three, four, okay? Okay, guys, next are clothes. I switched sides so we can see all of these clothes. This is what I was talking about, like that coat. Um, this is a shame to me. So for them to do this, because this did not come this way, they actually split the back of this. So the coat cannot be used unless somebody wanted to try to repair those slits that the store did. But I don't understand why they just couldn't put that in their donation bin. They were actually running a donation for coats. The double thing going on there is crazy. Oh, here's the L.L. Bean scarf I was talking about. Yeah, that's it. It's a beautiful scarf in blue from L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean, sorry. So I don't know if that was part of a coat, maybe, because it has the same attachments. So this probably did come off of a coat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but a cute scarf. Okay. Check this out, guys. This came from, yeah, Burlington Coat Factory. Look at that. Mr. Michael Coors. And the price on this is, it's in a blue. It's a size medium. The compare to is $69.50. No, $89.50. And there is no store tag on it that I think. Oh, yes, it is. It's a store tag and a sensor on it for $29.99. So I'll take the sensor off and sell that. It's in a medium. Yep. The only thing I can see, I think, um, I don't know if it's candy because it's coming off. Or it looks like glitter. That's glitter on here. Yeah. A little bit of glitter or hard glitter is on here. So I'll try to get that off. Or I may just leave it just like that. Put it out on the table and see. It's in, a, like I said, a blue. It has the gold MK. And in the back, it has the MK in the back also. Okay? Or Michael Kors in the back. Yeah. Very nice. Here is a DKNY man shirt in a size 16 and a half. This is listed for $24.99. Okay? in a white. Here's a top. Just a little pink top for $5.99. Here are a pair of gray pants. And I think the sensor was on this also. Maybe not. But a cute pair of little pink pants. A junior size 13 listed on clearance for $9.98. Okay, zipper works, no splits, no holes, I double check them. I will be selling those. Here's an evening dress, and the price on this was $34.98 from Burlington Coat Factory, and it's a black high-low. It has that nude top with that whole Tarzan side. It's in black, and it's almost like a T-length, but it is a high-low, okay? Yeah. All right, 
almost finished here. A set of pajamas in a size medium in a rose color. There's no price on these. It's from the Coastal Club. Yeah. And they are perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. I've already checked. And here is a, I don't know if it's clever or leather, but this is listed as $39.99. And the zippers work. There are no holes. So I don't know why or what, you know, what happened with this. The only thing it is, it just has glitter on it from being on that same, in that same bag with all that glitter. Yeah. And they didn't destroy it, thank goodness. So I will try to sell that. It is a, I think it's a man jacket. Yeah, it's a male size large. Urban Republic. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. It is working to nighttime. It's getting dark in here. So I'm going to put this stuff away. I still got a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do the flea market. We're supposed to warm up a lot, but it is supposed to rain i got so much stuff to sell, guys. I'm not complaining one bit, uh, but I do need to put all this stuff back. So when I pull it all out to show you guys, know that I am putting it all back. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.